after a while the wife start looking for the money she kept money in the same place where the imam was sitting but she couldn't find looking under the table she is looking under the blanket she is looking under the carpet she is looking everywhere nowhere the money is gone so the imam is start crying and he said yes i took the money Have you heard about the imam who has stolen the money? The story starts when one of the small villages in one of the African country they hired an imam. This imam was graduated from Islamic University. And it is very rare to find someone knowledgeable graduated from Islamic University having Islamic knowledge or Islamic scholar to be an imam. of one of the masajid and it is very few in african countries so the people of that village they decided that every ramadan during the 30 days or 29 days of ramadan each family should invite this imam for iftar for food as ihtiram as a respect as an honor as hospitality so that was the normal practice and the imam is doing his best in the masjid doing the lectures the classes the courses educating the people and the community and in ramadan he went to the first house the second day he went to the second house the third day he went to the third family and it's like that so one of the families who invited the imam there are only husband and wife and obviously they are all poor they are living in a village after the imam came he was waiting in that waiting area or in the hall where they should eat the food and after eating the food the imam said jazakumullahu khair may allah reward you and he left after a while the wife start looking for the money she kept money in the same place where the imam was sitting but she couldn't find She is looking under the table, she is looking under the blanket, she is looking under the carpet, she is looking everywhere. Nowhere. The money is gone. So she asked the husband. She said, "Do you let anyone to come inside the house?" He said, "No. What happened?" She ca- she said that she cannot find the money. She said, "Yeah, I remember there was money and it was kept at certain place. And no one came in that house except the imam and he spent, you know, some time and we were busy making the food and he was sitting alone at that specific room or that specific area so they both said for 100% sure that no one took the money except imam because no one else came inside the house from that moment the man start avoiding the imam he start feeling bad towards the imam Every time he goes to the masjid he is avoiding the imam he is not trying to make any salam or any contact with the imam he prays in the corner or or he prays and then leaves immediately without being in touch with the imam having that feeling that how come an imam how, how can he he uh, just get that kind of courage to take the money well the year passes and the next ramadan came and as a normal practice of the people of the village that everyone should invite an imam for a day for iftar so one day he went to the first family the second day he went to the second family until the turn of this family who lost the money they now have to invite the imam but the man is not comfortable he says how can i call the imam who came last time in my house and he stolen the money so i'm not comfortable so the wife she was a righteous and pious wife she came and she said listen maybe the imam was in need of the money maybe he needs you know this money for for something so let's forgive him for the sake of allah and let's invite him just let it go so the man agreed and he said okay i do agree with you let's invite the imam imam came to this family and again he came normally assalamu alaikum he said and after the food after the iftar he just want to leave but the imam saw that the man is still not comfortable he is kind of like talking very 
uh, in, a, in a very not usual way, not normal way. Like it's only like few words that he is talking to the Imam and quite all the time, not trying to make any, any topics or open any topics or ask him any questions that, that he will benefit from Imam. So the Imam said, are you okay? So the man couldn't take it anymore. He said, Imam, I want to tell you something honestly. From the last year till now, didn't you realize that I am avoiding you? I'm not saying salam to you. I'm not coming and talking to you. So the Imam said, yes, I realized, but I didn't get enough time to come and talk to you, to ask you what's happening because I was also busy here and there. But yes, I, I did realize that you are kind of not very close to me anymore. So he said, Imam, I'll be honest with you. Last time we invited you and we kept some money in the same room and we were preparing the food and you were sitting alone. And after you left, we couldn't find the money and we swear that no one else came inside the house except you. At that moment, at that time, Imam's eyes become reddish. The tears start coming out from his eyes. And he said, why you didn't talk to me? He said, how can we talk to you? We were feeling shy. And we, we, I'm sh we are sure that no one took the money except you. So the Imam started crying and he said, yes. I took the money. At that moment, it was the shocking moment for everyone. For this man and for the wife who, who's, who's in the other room and, and hearing the conversation and listening to everything. It was shocking for them that the Imam is admitting that yes, he took the money. But what the Imam said, the Imam said, I'm not crying because you accused me and you are sure that I took the money. I am crying because of other thing. I was sitting in the same room and the money were kept at that side and the wind start blowing and the window is open as it is open right now and the money start flying everywhere because of the wind so I got up quickly and I start collecting the money and I was waiting for you when you will come so I saw a front of me a Quran and I opened the Quran I kept the money inside the Quran and I closed it and I kept it the reason I'm crying because for the entire year, none of you opened the Quran and read the Quran. If you just open the Quran and read any verse from it, you would find the money. So I am crying that my own people in this village, they didn't read the Quran for the entire year. I'm not sad because you accuse me, but I'm sad that you are completely abandoned the Quran for the next year. And this also, my brothers and sisters, applies to all of us. In Ramadan, we only touch the Quran and read the Quran in the month of Ramadan and on weekly basis or certain occasions. We do not want to be like this person and his wife who abandoned the Quran for the entire year and he was thinking that the Imam took the money. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who read the Quran, recite the Quran, understand the Quran and ponder upon the Quran and implement the Quran in our life. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have you ever wished that there was a Muslim version of YouTube or Netflix? Well, we have created one. The One Islam TV app has no adverts and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran videos, stories of the prophets, hot topic, debates, and so much more. Four to eight new videos are uploaded daily, inshallah. You can watch or listen to videos while your device is switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqah jariyah, continuous charity for you.
as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work. Mm hmm.